was trying to grapple with ethnic unrest in the Soviet Republic of Moldavia. The Republic's Christian minority wants to be independent from the rest of Moldavia. That's something the Moldavian government is finding hard to swallow. More on the conflict from Claire Shipman. Free elections, autonomy, a familiar cry these days in the Soviet Union. But the Gagai Turks aren't after anything as simple as independence from the Soviet Union, yet. Instead, this minority of 150,000 is demanding to separate from Moldavia. They want their own republic. Their complaints echo those of the ethnic Russian minorities in the Baltics. They fear rising Moldavian nationalism in this independence-minded republic. Already, Moldavian has been declared the official language, and many Moldavians want to reunite with Romania. The Gagais are Turkish Christians who fled religious persecution in Turkey 160 years ago and settled here in what is now Soviet Moldavia, but what was part of Romania before Stalin grabbed the territory at the start of World War II. Ethnic Moldavians, despite their own independence drive, are not ready to tolerate the loss of bits and pieces of what they view as their territory. So when the Gagais announced they were holding elections for their own government, Moldavian volunteers headed toward the region to prevent them from taking place. The Moldavian government declared a state of emergency and asked in Soviet troops, believing that this would prevent violence and the elections. The head of the Soviet Interior Ministry troops held negotiations between the two sides and it appeared a compromise had been reached. The volunteers returned to the Moldavian capital, victorious told that elections had been postponed and that Soviet troops had the situation under control. For a short time, it appeared that tensions had eased. But, as it turned out, the Gagais had gone ahead and elected their own president. In apparent retaliation, Moldavians stormed Soviet checkpoints along the Romanian border, threatening to kill the guards and their families. The radicals, who later turned themselves in, demanded the complete withdrawal of Soviet troops from Moldavia whom they believe are now siding with the Gagais. The eruption in Moldavia illustrates the depth of ethnic problems Mikhail Gorbachev has on his hands. In a country with over a hundred nationalities, many clamoring for autonomy, negotiations for a new union treaty promise to be arduous, perhaps impossible. Claire Shipman, CNN, Moscow. The national